Welcome back. Computer chip maker Arm Holdings is getting a nice reception from Wall Street today with a slew of different analysts initiating coverage at what is a buy or equivalent type rating. And that's despite shares off more than 20 percent since their post IPO highs. Deirdre Bosa now joins us for today's tech check. Uh, it was 51 bucks at IPO, 69 bucks at the intraday high right after it. And it's nowhere near that right now. So why the buy? Right. So that pop you mentioned on that first day, its debut, that was about 25 percent. And as you also said, pair gains since then. I read 10 analyst reports this morning, so 10 initiations. All of them were by, like you said, some form, either a buy or an overweight. And these came from the banks that were involved in underwriting the IPO. So they waited 25 days to publish their research. And it's interesting when you look at where the ratings stood before. Before today, there was only one buy. Now there's 14, and there's only one sell. It comes from Bernstein, which did not work on the IPO. Um, one of the things I like to look at, Dom, is what does this mean for SoftBank, right? Because this is a company that's still 90 percent owned by SoftBank. They have the most to gain if the price goes up, these buy ratings flooding in. And, you know, when, I want to show you a chart. This looks at where ARM sits in the whole SoftBank world. This is a Japanese conglomerate with holdings in many different things. The blue is the Vision Fund 1 and 2. These are not very liquid because they're investments in private companies. Alibaba used to be the crown jewel, and Masasan could tap into that because it was public, it was highly liquid, to fund his venture capital push to shore up finances in times of uncertainty. You can see now that Alibaba makes up just 0.1 percent of SoftBank holdings. ARM is the new crown jewel. It made up 12 percent in March of 2022. It now makes up 22 percent, and it's publicly traded. So theoretically, Masasan could lean on ARM, could liquidate more of his stake to do more things with SoftBank. And we know, Dom, that he has said that he is going to be going on the investment offensive. He wants to invest in more artificial intelligence companies. So it'll be interesting what happens when the lockup period expires and what Masasan and SoftBank wants to do with this stake. Deirdre, what is going to be the biggest driver for ARM in the coming quarters and years? Is it AI? Is it automotive, IoT, things like that? Yeah, I mean, the whole idea why ARM has such a rich valuation compared to many others in the semiconductor space, a lot of the buy ratings, the notes, they talk about sort of the royalties that ARM gets from licensing out the IP. Um, that's very important, but it needs more of a hold in the artificial intelligence space, different end markets. Right now, its biggest end market is smartphones. This is a saturated industry. So a lot of it does rely on whether it's able to move into automotive, especially artificial intelligence and some of those other end markets. All right. Deirdre Bosa with today's tech check on Arm Holdings. Thank you very much. We'll see you later on today.